congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Well deserved, I might add. Uh, what individual had the greatest impact uh, in your wrestling career? No doubt about it, it was Zach Papakrosis, my junior college wrestling coach, without a doubt. Okay. Uh, did you have an idol? Uh, as you started wrestling, you know, most of us look up to people. Uh, who is your hero or idol in the sport of wrestling? So? Well, I went to Marina High School in San Leandro, and I got to tell you that the best athlete that was ahead of me was a kid named Brian Bream that um, went to the Air Force Academy. He was a football player first and a wrestler second, but he uh, scored 20 touchdowns in one year, and he was a great, a great role model for me. He was two years older than I was. Uh, and then, of course, the Dan Gable. I mean, you know, that, that was the time when, when uh, when we were, you know, two, three years younger than that and we're watching to see what he did. So he, he had an impact on a lot of people. Yeah, he certainly did. Uh, what attribute of your character was the greatest contributing factor to your success in wrestling? You've been in the sport a long time, right. both coaching and wrestling. What well, is it that makes you tick? Well, I was committed to what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt like I needed to give it my all or not do it at all, you know. So my energy level was up, and I'm sure that a lot of people always saw that. But I was committed to my kids, you know, beyond the wrestling room, um, really. You know, uh, uh, I went way, practice, way past the practice room, so. Yeah, absolutely, and that was apparent. Yeah. Uh, do you have one outstanding memory, you know, from your career? You've had a lot of successes. Well, actually, the most outstanding memory is not the most uh, uh, the one that didn't work out for us. But but in '96, uh, we were on the cusp of winning the California State Championship, and we came up uh, two points short. But you know that's the best that we've ever done. It was the best team that we've ever had. So uh, uh, the memory isn't so much of the state meet. It was the whole season, and, and, and it was a, uh, a fantastic year for us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, is there one match that sticks out in your mind or one event? I mean, obviously the state meet that year. But right. Oh, man, I had so many as a coach. Um, one that kind of sticks out is when I was actually wrestling. I was a senior at Marina High School. We went to the NorCal tournament, and I heard about my first match. I heard about my first match is going to be with this Tommy Roback, and I think he was from Los Gatos, and he was the returning NorCal champion and everything, and I was there for the first time, and um, and I ended up somehow winning the match, and I think the score was four to three. So it was a big deal to everybody that was there, and so I moved on in the tournament. That's great, Tom. But what got you started wrestling? Well, I was a small kid, you know, seventy pounds in middle school, seventy-five. Uh, I got to high school, and I was. The, the smallest kid on the team, so, you know, wrestling was geared, geared for a small person like myself. I played football, I played baseball, I played everything, and I did well at those sports, but wrestling was the one that I excelled at the best and the one that I liked the best, because you, you had to work hard, and the more time that you put into it, the more benefit that you got, that you got out of it, so. Without a doubt. Um. Now you're an athletic director, so you know yeah. the opportunity to, to, to work with coaches and advise them and to mentor them. And so, uh, if you had an opportunity in, in your career now that you're out of it and working with others, is there anything that you would change? Not a thing. I wouldn't replace my what turned out to be uh, 30 years of coaching um, for anything. My relationship with my kids and their parents was very special. Yeah, I, I can see that. I think of, uh, you know, seeing you, uh, your, your last few years with, uh, you know, you had some outstanding individuals and just seeing the uh, depth of agony if they weren't able to, you know, achieve their dreams. It, it, that got a little tougher as you got older, didn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it did. Yeah, what would you like people to remember about Tom Rosenthal? I didn't slack off at all. I worked the job well past the kids left. You know, the practice room was great. I loved the practice environment. But there was always something coming up. 
uh, and I used to stay for a couple hours after practice just cl cl cleaning up the things that I needed to deal with. Uh, made a lot of parent calls, kept kids after, and um, you know, it kind of bonded even more okay, by doing that. You, you, you just can't coach the sport and you know, the kids leave and you're, you're out of the room you know, three minutes later. It's just not going to work. So. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations once again, Tom. Much deserved. Thank you so much.